The term militia in contemporary Iraq refers to armed groups that fight on behalf of or as part of the Iraqi government, the Mahdi Army and Badr organization being two of the biggest. Many predate the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, but some have emerged since, such as the Facilities Protection Service. Since the 2014 collapse of the Iraqi army in the north of Iraq in the face of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, and the fatwa by the Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani calling for jihad or hashad shabi popular mobilization against ISIL, militias have become even more prominent in Iraq. Sustenance According to Eric David, professor of Middle East politics at Rutgers University, "...they get some salary, they get a rifle, they get a uniform, they get the idea of belonging, protection from a group." However, he also notes that, "...people in Mahdi Army only get sporadic incomes. It's also very dangerous." You might be fighting another militia, such as the Badr organization, or worse the American army or the Iraqi army." It is stated that Iran is backing the militias, including through the Quds Force. The militias have also received American weapons, which were handed over to them from the Iraqi government. <laughs> List of militias Asaib al Alhaq Saib al HQ Saraya Talia al Khurasani Saraya Talit al Khurasani Kataib Sayyid al Shuhada Kataib Sid al Shda Harakat Hezbollah al Nujaba Herkt Hazibi al Almba Liwa Amar bin Yasser Liwa Mar bin Yasser Kataib Hezbollah Kataib Hazibi al Peace Companies Saraya al Slam Falak al Wa'ad al Sadiq Filk al Wid al Sadiq U Badr Organization Military Wing Menzemti Bdr al Jna al Skri Liwa Asad Allah al Ghalib Fi al Iraq Wa al Sham Liwa Azd al Algab Promised Day Brigade Liwa Aliyam Almd Saraya al Zara Saraya al Jra Liwa Athufakar Liwa Du Alfkar Liwa Kafil Zainab Liwa Kafil Zinbi Saraya Ansaral Akita Saraya Ansar Al Kate R. Liwa Al Muntadar Liwa Almsar Badr Al Mahami Al Kasa Bdr Al Mjami Al Kist Liwa Abu Al Fadhal Al Abbas Liwa Ab Alfdal Albas Saraya Al Jihad Saraya Al Jad Saraya Al Difaa Al Shabi Saraya Aldfa Al Shbi Kataeb Dir al Shia Kataeb Dr. al Shit Hezbollah al Thyroun Hazibi al Al Theron Kataeb al Tayr al Risali Kataeb al Tiar al Rizali R. Saraya Ashura Saraya Ashra Kataeb Malik al Ashtar Kataeb Malk al Ashtar Harakat al Abdal Herkt al Abdal Kataeb al Imam Ali Kataeb al Imam Li Mukhtar Army Jish al Mukhtar Mahdi Army Jish Almdi Babylon Brigade Topic Iraqi Government Nuri al Maliki asked political parties to dismantle their militias on the 5th of October 2006 He also stressed that militias are part of the government that there is a political solution and finally that they should dissolve themselves because force would not work he blamed the sectarian violence on al qaeda in iraq he has also condemned saddam hussein loyalists lindsey graham has said you are not going to have a political solution in iraq with this much violence this has led to growing concerns about al maliki's unwillingness to eliminate shia militias the Mahdi Army, a group linked to Iraqi Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr, is held responsible for «execution-style killings» of 11 Iraqi troops in August 2006. Some U.S. officials posit that the militias are a more serious threat to Iraq's stability than the Sunni insurgency. Additionally, U.S.-led coalition troops have been told hands off Sadr city because Maliki is dependent upon Sadr, the Mahdi Army. 
However, in late January, Maliki reversed his decision 1. SCIRI refused to acknowledge own militia, the Badr organization. Views Support Due to the collapse of some segments of the Iraqi army under the Daesh offensive, the activity of the militias fighting the Islamic State is largely supported by the Shia majority in the country, and many among the Sunni minority. Criticism According to former U.S. Ambassador to Iraq Zalmay Khalilzad, "...the existence of private militias has loomed as a persistent problem. Brett H. McGurk, director for Iraq, from the National Security Council, has stated, The Iraqi constitution makes clear that militias are illegal, too, and the new government platform pledges to demobilize militias as one of its principal goals. The private militias purport to enforce religious law through illegal courts. Quote, U.S. Senator Dennis Falcone has said, "...sectarian violence between Shiites and Sunnis is being fueled by the private militias, is now the biggest threat to stability." Moreover, U.S. Senator John Warner has urged the White House to prod Nouri al-Maliki to empower the Iraqi army to subdue the militias and stated, "...it is their job, not the U.S. coalition forces to subdue and get rid of these private militias." According to Donatella Rovera, Amnesty International's senior crisis response advisor, as of late 2014, "...the crimes being committed by Shia militias throughout Iraq amount to war crimes. These are not one-off cases. They are systematic and widespread." These crimes target the Sunni population, including ethnic cleansing in Sunni areas, particularly around the Baghdad belts and Diyala Governorate. American official, Ali Kettery, has been scathing of United States involvement with the militias, stating, The United States is now acting as the Air Force, the Armory, and the diplomatic cover for Iraqi militias that are committing some of the worst human rights abuses on the planet. These are allies that are actually beholden to our strategic foe, the Islamic Republic of Iran, and which often resort to the same vile tactics as the Islamic State itself." According to The Economist, "...the militias Iran is sponsoring are in some ways the Shia mirror image of the Sunni jihadists of Islamic State is." Based on a report by HRW, numbers of homes, shops and entire neighborhoods were completely destroyed by Shia militias in Tikrit, Iraq in 2015. After the Islamic State's ISIS withdrawal from Tikrit, 100 civilian buildings were destroyed by Shia militias who were also laying waste to Sunni homes and shops in the south of Tikrit. The Shia militias like Hezbollah battalions and League of Righteous Forces kidnapped more than 200 Sunni residents, including children. The militias promised collective punishment against Sunni for the June 2014 Camp Spiker massacre committed by ISIS in which over 1,500 Shias unarmed cadets were murdered. A town located in the south of Tikrit was destroyed and left with its 120,000 Sunni residents in the control of Hezbollah battalions after the withdrawal of AS on 6 March 2015. In April 2015, 600 shops and homes were also destroyed and burnt by explosives in the same town. References and notes See also Al-Hasht al-Shabi Abed the Yab External links Iraq – Private Militias May Keep a Role, 4 May 25, New York Times – Despite pledges by the U.S. military to disband private militias in Iraq, American officials now seem to be resigned to working with them. The U.S. failure to disarm Iraq's militias, New Republic, of July 2005 
As violence escalates, President Bush assures Iraq of U.S. Support, controlling the militia's streaming video from online NewsHour with Jim Lehrer 16 October 2006 3. Badr Corps at the Wayback Machine archived October 15, 2006